649 right now. Time for the morning rush. This morning, Hobbs police are investigating after finding another baby dead in a hospital bathroom. Hobbs police say that a 16 year old girl accompanied by her mother was being treated at the Covenant Health Hobbs Hospital on Wednesday. Hospital staff found the baby in the bathroom of the girl's restroom. Now, this is the second infant found dead in a New Mexico hospital this year and the second incident of an infant being abandoned in Hobbs. A drunk driver who hit and killed a cyclist last year will spend nearly a decade in prison. Police say Molly Duran was driving drunk near Unser and Kimmick in northwest Albuquerque last year when she struck Joseph Games on his bicycle. Rio Rancho police were able to identify Duran's car after seeing significant damage to the windshield. She will spend nine years behind bars. Nearly a thousand people, including a former U.S. president, gathered in Santa Fe to honor former Governor Bill Richardson. At yesterday's funeral, attendees filled the pews inside of the Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis. Former President Bill Clinton took to the podium and even spoke highly of Richardson, who served as a U.N. ambassador and secretary of energy in his administration. Bill Richardson died on September the 1st at the age of 75. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. It's a chilly start to the day, so you'll want to wear those warmer jackets and layers this morning. 81 this afternoon, a comfortable afternoon with some sunshine, but we could see a couple of hit or miss storms. Now that a judge has temporarily blocked enforcement of the governor's gun ban, UNM law professor Joshua Kastenberg says the governor's best bet is turning to the legislature for help. Kastenberg says the temporary restraining order implies it's unlikely the courts will side with the governor on this issue. Well, New Mexicans could soon be paying more for their gas bill after the New Mexico gas company put in a request to raise the rates for the upcoming year. If that request is passed by the Public Regulation Commission, residents can expect about a 10% increase on their monthly bills. That proposed increase would go into effect no sooner than October of next year. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is visiting the U.S. next week. Zelensky will head to the White House while on a trip to attend the United Nations General Assembly and will meet with Biden on Thursday. The trip comes as President Biden's request for as much as $21 billion of aid to Ukraine is being debated in Congress. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It's moderate today. We'll see scattered showers and storms in central and northern New Mexico for the most part, with a chance for burn scar flash flooding in the Sangre de Cristo and severe storms across the east this evening and overnight. Officials say the recovery efforts for the endangered New Mexico meadow jumping mouse have brought about mixed results. Biologists say that while the historic range has seen an uptick in mice population, other areas have seen drops and that this could be an indicator of other environmental troubles. It's estimated that there are fewer than 100 of these mice left. This is the last weekend of the fair, but you still have some time to get out and enjoy some food like the green chili corn dog on a stick. Bill Murray has been offering the spicy favorite for more than 50 years at the New Mexico State Fair. The Wisconsin native says he has no plans to retire anytime soon, and he's already planning his trip back to New Mexico next year. And here's a check on traffic. There are no accidents or slowdowns to report. Tracker is heading south on I-25 near MLK, and everything's up to speed on this beautiful morning. A World War II veteran from Texas is asking others to help her celebrate her 100th birthday. Ethel and Bell wants 100 birthday cards. The Texas Land Commissioner's Office shared a photo of Bell holding a sign with her address for anyone wanting to send her a card. Bell was just 21 back in 1945 when she began serving in the Army Nurse Corps. Her birthday is October 4th. Time now for the five facts and number five. This is the last weekend of the fair, but you still have some time to get out and enjoy some of the delicious food available, including one staple, the green chili corn dog on a stick. Bill Murray has been offering the spicy favorite for more than 50 years at the fair. The Wisconsin native says he has no plans to retire and is already looking forward to his trip back to New Mexico next year. And number four, New Mexicans will soon be could soon be paying more rather for their gas bill. That's after the New Mexico gas company put in a request to raise the gas rates for the upcoming year. Uh, if that request is passed by the New Mexico Public Regulation Commission, New Mexico residents can expect a, about a 10 percent increase on their monthly gas bills. And number three, it's going to be a warm and mostly dry day. We'll see a slight chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms today and Sunday, but dry weather on Saturday. And number two, Hobbs police are investigating after finding another baby dead inside of a hospital bathroom. Hobbs police say that a 16 year old girl accompanied by her mother was being treated at a covenant at the Covenant Health Hobbs Hospital yesterday or on Wednesday. Rather, hospital staff found the baby yesterday in the bathroom of the girl's room. Now, this is the second infant found dead in a New Mexico hospital this year and the second incident of an infant being abandoned in Hobbs. Anyone with information is encouraged to call the Lee County Crime Stoppers. 
And number one, hundreds of people, including a former U.S. president, gathered in Santa Fe to honor and remember former Governor Bill Richardson. During yesterday's funeral service, thousands of friends, admirers and dignitaries built the pews inside the Cathedral Basilica in downtown Santa Fe. Former President Bill Clinton walked hand in hand into the cathedral with Richardson's widow, Barbara Clinton. Clinton spoke highly of his colleague, who served as a U.N. ambassador and secretary of energy. Richardson died September 1st in his sleep at his summer home in Massachusetts.